Hello again friends and welcome back to Suzanne Elizabeth's Kitchen. Today we're going to show you how to do quick and easy and delicious, of course, mashed potatoes. And the secret is, there's a couple secrets actually. These are just good old fashioned russet potatoes and I've boiled them, I cut them into big chunks and boiled them along with some garlic cloves and that, look at See how soft the garlic clove is? And, mmm, mmm, incredibly um, mild now that it's been boiled because it's cooked. But I also, one of the secret, the first secret is that uh, one, I kept the skins on. Two, I did add these whole garlic cloves in and cooked them along with my potatoes. And three, I added um, some salt, salt into the water, a good deal of salt, not, you know, handfuls, but, you know, good sprinkling of just regular old table salt. And the reason for that is that I wanted to um, give some flavor going in to the um, potatoes, because, you know, toma potatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes, potatoes do not have a lot of um, flavor on their own, but mm, now that I've added the salt into the water, the skins and the meat of the potato have beautifully absorbed the salt and they just taste fantastic. So now I'm going to just add a good little scoop of sour cream because we love that tang of sour cream. A good little scoop of whipped cream cheese because that'll give it a nice creamy flavor. And believe it or not, I'm actually gonna try to not add any butter. Why? Why not? Just, now this is a good little pour, maybe half a cup of half and half. Again, that lovely richness. And then this is a little trick that I first learned when I lived in New York and went to a cooking lesson. And they actually used a different type of cheese, but I happened to have this nice little hunk of brie in the refrigerator. But the trick was that I learned was this idea of grating up some cheese and adding that in there. I'm just adding brie because what I had in the refrigerator and it's kind of what I was in the mood for. So I'm at just adding that. And now, good old potato masher. And that's all there is to it, quite honestly. I mean, three minutes. The longest part, as you know, the longest part of making mashed potatoes is um, boiling them. Now, this is another point that I'm sure some of you are out there going, where's the hand mixer? Well, some people do like a hand mixer <laughs> because they like their potatoes to be super, super smooth. And, you know, to me, they're kind of like soup. I, on the other hand, as you can see by the fact that I kept my skins on my potatoes and on my body, um, is the fact that I like mine a little bit, you know, chunkier, more, it's more of a, here, look, it's kind of rustic. They're no less creamy, you know, you saw how much nonsense I put in there. Now let's just give these a good little taste. And you know, but feel free to do what you want. Remember, one of the central points of the central philosophies of Suzanne Elizabeth's kitchen is that it's your food. <laughs> Cook it to your taste. So, let's see. Mmm. 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 Fantastic. Definitely does not need any salt. Mmm. Mmm. Does not need any butter. I have this one little bit of 
um, brie left, so I'm going to throw that in there. And it definitely wants mm, some more pepper. Definitely more pepper. And I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I want to put in there. You could definitely put some, you know, little snippets of green onions, which I had around here somewhere. You could put some green onions if you wanted. Give it a little color and a little pizzazz. Um, do I want to do that? Eh. But I think I do want to add some more sour cream. So again, at this point, and maybe another little splash of half and half, just to give it Make sure they're nice and moist. So at this point, you're just playing and tweaking. And now here's, and here's a warning, because this is something I've done myself about a thousand times. You start tweaking and tweaking and tweaking, and you end up over-seasoning potatoes. You know, let's remember, these are potatoes. Right? We don't want them to taste like white stuff that tastes like sour cream. No, we want them to taste like potatoes. So, at this point, I would just stop. Just stop. And, what you could do, if you wanted to serve these later, which I'm going to do, is put them in a... In fact, I'll show you. As I'm thinking about it right now. Okay. So, at this point, just take a little thing like this and put a little oil or butter in the bottom. Let me just get a little oil. And this is just so that it doesn't, the bottom, you know, the potatoes don't burn on the bottom. So just put a little butter or oil on the bottom and I'm doing this over my sink so I don't make a complete mess which, as you know, so see, nice and oily. Um, and then put them into this pan, and then when it's time to eat dinner, just gently warm them in the oven. And I suppose in a way it's kind of like twice-baked potatoes, right? Either way, don't get excited. They're going to taste fabulous. And at this point, if you really wanted to go... Look at that. The, the potatoes are flying everywhere. At this point, if you wanted to... This is when you could add, you know, your chives or your little chopped green tomatoes or some of those little crunchy onions. Those would be very good. Okay, so that's it. Seven minutes and that's with me playing with everything. No butter needed, although we did add a lot of other types of fats, but that's okay. They're potatoes. That's it, kids. Remember... Aprons, videos, recipes at SusannaElizabeths.com. Sign up for my newsletter so you can have all of this nonsense delivered to your email inbox. Or subscribe to my YouTube channel. But either way, please visit me often. And um, remember, God loves you. So do I. Get in the kitchen, cook for your family and friends so that you can share God's love with them. And I'll see you next time in Suzanne Elizabeth's kitchen. Cheers.